Welcome, geeks, to another episode of YouTube's Lowdown on what's happening in the world of geek, geekish news. I'm your host, Dan Mack, and this week, have I got news for you. I've got the scoop on Ascension, sci-fi's new outer space drama, news on the Robert Burns Witch Hunter graphic novel, the latest news on Lucasfilm's new animated feature, Strange Magic, and a little something for the Game of Thrones fans. But without further ado, let's get into it. New Heights for Sci-Fi Recently, the Sci-Fi Network has been churning out TV movies and series that are purposely B-grade quality or aim to parody other movies and TV shows, like Sharknado and Z Nation. But in 2015, the network's executives have decided to take sci-fi in another direction and focus on hard science fiction. To spearhead this new venture into period drama sci-fi will be Ascension. Set to premiere in December and continue into early 2015, Ascension tells the story of a generational space station that was launched in an alternate history arc in 1963 as part of the US Kennedy-backed space program. Now in an alternate present day, the space station is 50 years into its journey to Proxima Centauri, where the men, women and children on board hope to create an off-world colony. However, all is not well on board. As the station reaches the point of no return, one of the young female crew members is mysteriously murdered, sparking a station-wide investigation, the results of which lead the crew to question the true nature of their mission. Starring a star-studded cast of TV serial legends, including Brian Van Holt from Cougar Town, Trisha Helfer from Battlestar Galactica, and Gil Bellows from The Shawshank Redemption and The Agency. Ascension promises to be a sci-fi series filled with suspense to have you glued to the screen. Poetic Justice It seems that a lot of historical figures lead a secret life that delved into the supernatural, according to modern pop culture. When Abraham Lincoln wasn't too busy being President of the United States during the American Civil War, he was hunting down vampires. Now renowned Scottish Poet Laureate is swapping his quill and parchment for pistol and sword in the new graphic novel published by Renegade Arts Entertainment, Robbie Burns, Witch Hunter. Written by Gordon Rennie and Emma Beebe, who have worked on such comic book franchises as Judge Dredd and with artwork by Tin and Trevelyan, the story follows the exploits of the Scottish poet as he scours the highlands in search for witches and other supernatural beings. Blending Scottish folklore and legend with elements of steampunk, this gothic horror takes the reader on a thrill ride through the dark and mysterious landscape of Scotland, whilst referencing some of Burns' most prolific works. Robbie Burns' Witch Hunter is out now and available at comic book and bookstores, as well as online. It's a kind of magic. In film news, Lucasfilm has released a trailer for its new animated feature, Strange Magic. Based on a story written by George Lucas, the story tells of the first meeting of goblins, fairies and imps, and the consequent confusion and culture clashes that ensue. Having been inspired by William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, Strange Magic delves into this world of mystery and fantasy and high adventure, with a few laughs along the way. Set for release in cinemas February 2015, this is a film that's sure to have something for the whole family. A Game of a Game of Thrones and finally, in gaming news, Telltale Games is set to release the first episode in their Game of Thrones series, Iron from Ice. The producers of adventure adaptations of popular movies and television series, such as The Walking Dead, Back to the Future, and Jurassic Park, are now set to give HBO's small screen blockbuster the same treatment. The game will take place in parallel with the TV series. From the end of the third season until just prior to the start of the fifth, but found within continuity of the books. The story will follow House Forrester, a family yet to be introduced in the TV series, who herald from their stronghold Ironrath in North Westeros. While this will introduce a whole new swathe of characters, we'll still see appearances from some of our most beloved and hated characters from the TV show. Featuring voice performances from Peter Dinklage, Natalie Dormer, Iwan Rowan and Lena Headey. Game of Thrones Iron from Ice is set for release in December and is available on PC, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4.
Well, that's all we have for you this week on Geekish News. But don't forget to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash geekish dot zombie playground. Make sure you hit the like button so that you can stay in the loop with all that's happening in things geekish and also receive some awesome cosmic karma. And also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out some of our other videos. This is Dan Mack for Geekish News. We'll catch you next time.